Who have been called silent? Him being called silent. Listen carefully. Else being called You're not silent. listening. Unless you listen, say otherwise. This verse says. Listen, because it affects your Get eternity. Okay, I didn't say that. Right, so you're misrepresenting me. What it says is, what is his name? That's God speaking. What is his name? And we all agree it's God, yeah? No, we don't. Uh, who, who is it then? I have no idea. Because But you're asking the question. Yeah, but I'm asking uh, you. The va listen, clear cut verse. No, listen, I'm, I'm coming to it. No, I hear. I've got my finger here. I've got my finger here. You keep on asking the question, but you're not listening to the answer. Yeah, because what's a simple answer? Yeah. What is he? I'm not telling you his name. I'm not telling you his name. I'm not telling you his name. Yeah. What I am telling you is God has a son, and it says here. What is his name and what is his son's name if you know? Now we go to Daniel okay, 7. Now. now we go to Daniel 7 and it says, I was watching in the night visions and behold, one like the son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. He came to the ancient of days. Listen. And they brought him near before him. And then to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that all peoples and nations and languages should serve him. God gives his kingdom to Jesus and he gives it and Jesus gives it to the saints because it then says his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom the one which shall not be destroyed. I mean, Jesus so, and God cannot lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You still, this is, the, this is the problem you have. I, when I say to you, show me one verse. He just showed you. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He's talking about Jesus actually being given the dominion. Jesus, be, his name being uh, mentioned somewhere else. I asked. No, no, that question. wasn't what I said. If I call you son of God, I better have a reason. If he's called son of God, that's better. Because he's the son of God, the only one how son many? of God. That's oh, it. Do you, how many do you, do, you, do you want to see? How many in the Bible? Okay. How many people oh, are in the son of God? The sons. How many are the in the Bible? The sons of men are no. called all the Son of God. Do you are the son of God let's in me, the Bible? Okay, let me give you something. Let me say, give something. One. In the Bible, God is the father to all humanity. Fine. In the Quran, is uh, Allah is not a father to anyone. Is the Bible so? The, the, so the, no, I'm giving I'm giving you a clarity for you to understand yeah. the language of the Bible and the language of the Quran because you are a Muslim, so you can understand the deep meaning of it. Because God takes us as His own. That's why He says all the children, every human being, we are called His children. God himself in the Old Testament says, call me a father. I'm a father. So you're the son of God. I'm giving to you. Right, so so this God. is the son. Okay, this is this is the sonship of as in the flesh. Of everybody. In the fleshly. Okay. Man, now, now tell me. Now why in the book. The sonship of in, Jesus hold on. Different. Hold on. In the book yeah. that he just read in, in a pro, in the proverb, now he identifying there is one who is special holy who's given dominion who, hold on hold on yeah, yeah hold on. Who, hold who's on. given power no. who's given dominion hold on. by god hold on. right i'm can agreeing I, with you can i finish can i finish oh, okay i'll listen so to you this one this one is equal to him speak finish here for unto us a child is born yes. unto us a son is given the government will be upon his shoulder his name will be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace of the increase of his government there will be no peace okay. how can one son be called everlasting father how can one son born from a virgin be called mighty god now you ask the question there's the answer that's why he says no one can go to the father except through me so if you don't have jesus who came to atone for your sin you will die in your sin what he came to do is the condition of human race which called immortality immortality came through sin by adam and eve jesus came in the same laws that god put on earth, did not sin, die like a human being, but did not remain buried. There's no grave of Jesus. He rose back to life. Amen. That's why he says, whoever believes in me, though he will die, but he will rise up again because he is the resurrection right. and the life and the truth. Did he I'm answer the speak. question? No, he hasn't. Okay. Cool. What was your question? Uh, my question was very simple. I asked you, if you're called the son of God and he's called the son of God, you have diverted and said Jesus was able to do this. He was given this dominion. He was having. He was. Uh, God gave him extra powers. He was, had an exalted status. You've given all of that, but again, you didn't point me to a single verse in the Bible that said directly, 
that's my that's the, this, the son of God that makes any special. He talked we about proverbs. Three. Wait, no, you, you talked about proverbs. You talked about no. Gave, so now first. listen to what I'm gonna say. This is the thing about it. Jesus being able to bring the dead back to life is not special. That doesn't make him God. Okay. Jesus being able to heal someone is not special. That doesn't make him God. It's special in his own essence, because every time Jesus says, "I can of my own self do nothing." I, whatever you, the father do you listen that I can of my own self do, you, do you absolutely do you, nothing do you understand that scripture why you meant listen oh, listen look, you want to stretch it I'm going to speak gonna, let me I'm speak I was you. completely silent right I listened to the whole thing you had to say I can of my own self do absolutely nothing if he has no power of him own self right and everything is because by the will of God right here's the thing about what you believe about Jesus he had a special birth right his mom there's a chapter in the Quran called Mary, talks about his birth. But we're going right off the subject here. No, no, you no, asked the question, I asked the question is, is there a son? He, but but you're deviating. now deviating. You're we, now going no, right off the went, answer. No, no, that's the thing about you guys, right? I listened to everything he had to say. He went circles. He went every direction possible. He only spoke, but about, he only spoke about the son. Possible and didn't come to the conclusion. Jesus being, listen, Jesus being a special in terms of being able to create and give back to dead, uh, life to dead. You didn't ask that's that fine. question. No, I asked what's his sonship. Yes, this, there he, was a man over here reciting a verse earlier. I actually thought you guys would actually reference the verse. But none of we you did. did. We no. did. He talked about uh, God so loved the world that yeah. he's given his own son. None of that's you have that's John. That's John 3.16. What can Jesus is making a clear statement. Saying? For God so loved the world, he has given his only begotten son. Oh, whoa. Oh, hold, hold on. on. Let hold me on. Wait, wait, wait. Please, Let please. I'm begging you. Let okay. me finish. Begotten, right? He's making that clarity okay. that... and making a condition. No one can go to God. Okay. Hold on. He, no one can listen, go to I God. I haven't finished. You accepted. interjected. No. No, but let's stay, let's stay no, on the subject. No, you, yeah, he, but he interjected. I, I was subject. silent. No. We're staying on the subject. He said, "Go so love the world, he's only given his begotten. So yeah. his, his argument is Jesus is begotten, therefore special, right? Okay, open. So, no, listen, oh, no, okay. hold, hold on. on. Open Psalm 27. Hold, hold, open Psalm hold, 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 David hold. is the begotten son. Hold on, hold on. In a in a book of a proverb that the brother just read, yes, he's what, talking. What, what hold on, you see, in this book, he's talking about even God, even Jesus came to exist. It he did not even exist yet on earth, and God is revealing Himself. He is God, and only God who create all things, does those miracles, and then He says. What is his name and his son? God associating himself with his son, his divine son, who has not even come yet into the world. God talking about him. Okay, hold on. Talking about him. So we are talking about his pre existence. And you're still ignorant about what we are telling you. And we have in the book of uh, Psalm, before even Jesus came on earth, Psalm 2, Psalm 2, 10 to 11, God even commanding. Those who are leaders of the nations to obey, to, to, to obey him, to be instructed by him. Seconds. God is revealing again. This is before even Jesus came. God is revealing what, who is divine, his divine son, one divine son. Five seconds. Yeah? He revealing him. And Jesus, when he came, the only prophet okay. on earth who came say he is the divine son of God. Okay, now it's his turn. The only one. His turn. All right, now, now listen. You said Jesus is the son of God, begotten son. I'm showing you David is I'm called... I'm telling you pre-existence. No, no, no. There we go. Yeah, no, there we go. Don't, don't there, we go. No, there we go. Answer. Answer. There we go. Answer. There we go. Answer. Answer. Listen. Answer listen, what did I do? Answer. I just remain silent. Answer. That's Answer. the thing. That's the embarrassment, isn't it? Jesus, you I'm answering the question. Afterwards. Jesus... Being a son of God is nothing special. Everyone in the Bible is called son of God. Jesus being called begotten son of God is not special. Psalm 2.7 calls David the begotten son of God. David, today I've begotten thee. <coughs> nothing special. Jesus bringing the dead back to life by the power of God. God gave him that. Nothing special. That doesn't make him God. You're claiming Jesus existed before everyone else. Everyone's soul existed at the beginning. Every human being Ten on seconds. earth, okay? Nothing special. So why should you call Jesus any more than anyone else? That's the question I'm asking. Nothing special. Now I'm going to speak for a minute, I'm then you're going to speak, yeah? <laughs> okay. So your 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 question 
was um, about the sonship of God, and now you've gone on to the sonship of David, saying David is a begotten is son. Is show me, show me the scripture of David. When I finish my minutes, I've got 40 seconds left. Show me the scripture of David. Hang on, give me 40 seconds. Uh, show me the scripture of David where it speaks about him being called Almighty God. Because we read out the scripture to you from Isaiah chapter 9, where Jesus is Almighty God, wonderful counselor. And I said to you, God has one son. He only has one son. There are many sons, which he's explained to you now. But you, you're, you're deviating. You're going into the two cocaine fallacy, which means that you're trying to you're trying to go somewhere else. When we've expressly said to you from Proverbs chapter 30, from Daniel 7, and from Isaiah 9, we've read you all three of those scriptures, and now you now you're going to another one. Well, what, one of those scriptures said he's Almighty God. Now you've got a minute. Okay. Psalms 2 7 says David is the begotten son of God. No, it doesn't. Okay, Psalm 2 7. Oh, open it. Okay. Open it. Your problem open it. is open it. This. Open it. when he says, I've begotten Today you. I have begotten thee. And that's why we're giving you the verse. He's is referring to Jesus. It's not Jesus not didn't exist. That's what I'm saying. Are you to kidding you? me? But that's Jesus what I'm saying. What's not there? Well, listen. How can you how can you Let's say read. to someone? Let's read. Today I have if I say to you, Today that's I have begotten that's, thee, that's what I'm talking to you. Let's, you can't tell me. Let's read the verse. Let's read. Read. This is read. Psalm 2, read. verse Psalm 7. seven. Then say, I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me. You are, you are my son. son. Yes, yeah. yeah. Today. You are my son. Today I'll be caught on you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations, nations for your inheritance and the end of the earth. David never had the end of the earth. He didn't oh, have the nation. So, well, so Jesus, yes. who came 500 but this, this is Jesus, the. Uh, let me finish no, with it. Let me, let me, re, let me finish. David were prophet. They were revealing. Like Isaiah. Isaiah so, were revealing. So God is like the prophet. Is, okay. No. Why couldn't God say, Please. My son Jesus to come in Please. the future. Listen. The verse is about him. You're quoting one line <coughs> from Psalm 2. Let's finish the whole Psalm 2 7. Yes. Psalm, no, 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 no. We're going to finish two, with yeah. Not Psalm 2 7. Yeah, Let's read Psalm 2. Why do the nations rage? Why do the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord. And against these anointed. Okay. Okay. Who's the anointed? Oh, you're gonna go on that now. It's no, all no, of it. No, 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 he's giving the pro. No, no, he's giving the right context. He's giving the right context. Yes. Yes. Let us go with it. Let us. I am very happy with it. So God, God is saying, let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill in Zion. I will declare this decree the Lord has said to me. You are my son. Ask of me, I will give you the nations for your inheritance. You are my son. Don't jump. Hold on. You are my son. What next? You're right. Today I have begotten you. Exactly. Ask of me. Listen. Just finish. Listen. And I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Then. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear. Wait, wait, wait. Let him finish. No. And rejoice with trembling. Get the right context. the sun, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all those who put their trust in him. That's why we're telling you. So your scripture that you brought out, verse 7, has now defeated you. How? Because he talks about the sun, who is a divine. He talks about the sun and he says, kiss the sun. That's what you're addressing. Are you going to have an opportunity to kiss King David? You'll never have an opportunity. If I'm talking to you, if I'm talking to you, no, you can't. The same verse is speaking against you. Listen then. If God is talking to you, or through you, and says, today I have begotten thee, you can't tell me today. It's a prophecy. Come, come down, please. It's a Just prophecy. I'm talking to him right now. Just calm down. I've begotten thee. You can't tell me that I've begotten thee. It's about somebody coming 500 years later. You want yes. to go to the verse. You are just in denial. At that day, you will know who I am. Who? So one day, you 
will know who he is. Listen, who is who? listen, listen. Oh, hold on. Who is who? Explain At that me. day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who is commanded, he, he who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Only Jesus has a Father. Jesus is the only one whose Father is God. Because it says, and we read the scripture to you, you asked the question half an hour ago. Yes, and one question, we gave you three answers. I don't understand why. Clear, no, God, no, easy God, to understand. No. We told you. I, I, God is. To the question I, I just want to know is is why does Jesus require blood sacrifices? I can show you in the book of Leviticus when God said, What's the David? Leviticus, like another. It's an Old Testament, time of Moses. Yeah, the time of Moses. This is what. Is the, the foreshadowing God, of things to come. What does it say? For life, <coughs> for the like life of the flesh is in the blood. So God, and I've given God it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your soul. If that's the only for answer, it is, and you it is the, the blood that Jesus, make atonement for the souls. For Therefore I say to the children of, of Israel, no one among you shall eat blood, nor shall any stronger uh, uh, shall any stronghold who dwell among you eat, uh, 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 you eat blood. So here, he gave them the blood for the atonement of our souls. In that, that's what God in the version of the Son, basically. No, the blood, the blood, the reference that talks about the, the like the uh, the crucifixion, the death of the Son, and then His blood, because Jesus says, "I give." So my blood here, to atone our sins. Right? But all who believe in him, they will uh, rise up for eternity with him. As a living, yes, with Jesus. Yeah, but you don't, but you rejecting his uh, atonement of our sins for the death. Yes, yes. So if you reject that, you don't have any salvation. The reason why we reject it is because Allah is the most merciful. No, Allah is not the most merciful. No, he's not. Because, you see, God, God that's would why God, it's a problem. A question, would God, I would have accepted Muhammad if he came, he agreed with so everything Jesus said. But he came to, he did not. He contradict. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm, no, no. I'm Muhammad contradict even the prophet who came before He contradict. No, he did. I'm telling you why. What I'm saying to you, hold on. What, what I'm saying to you, first of all, beginning, the relationship between God of the Bible with the human race is a relationship between the father and the children. In the Quran, it does not exist. Allah is the master, the Muslim are the slave to Allah. So it's not the same character, it's the same God. No, but then it's not the God of the Bible, that's what I'm telling you. When the Bible says God has a divine son, the Quran says he does not have a son, he does not begotten. If he wanted to have a son, he would take it among himself. God does not have to have a partner to have a children. Yeah? God made by his power to have a children. So contradiction from the Quran and the Bible. So that's what I'm saying to you. When God in the Bible says the, the son, his son will come and die for the sins of my sorry. The, his son will come and die for the sins of the world. In the Quran, he does not speak the same language. He says he did not die. He made to appear, it was a, so the language completely, the prophet, what they say in the Bible, and what the Mormons say in the Quran, completely different. It's not the same God. In the Bible, hold on, hold on, in the Bible, God come into creation. He entered. He become like a human being. In the Quran, it doesn't. Allah does not enter in creation. He stayed there. But in the Bible, it's clear. Even God created a human being, Adam and Eve, here on earth. And when even you came to Abraham, he was in the flesh. Jesus never said once he was God. Yes, he said. Yes, he said. Yes, he said. Never made it clear. Yes, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. For a religion, for a religion. Like, it should be fair that it's clear for all of us. But it's clear. 
Why are you saying? I tell you what. He did this works, the signs of wonders, to affirm the scripture. Because in the scriptures, it says that only God can trade, trade on water. Jesus, when he walked on water, he was fulfilling a prophecy in the Bible, in the Old Testament. That was said only God can do. So he was proving to them it was God. Yeah, who can do what the Bible says only God can do. David Blaine nowadays has, has done what well, no, I'm saying to you all no, 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 no. What I'm oh, so like, hold it, hold it. what you can't, I'm, you can't Can you understand what I'm trying to say? Jesus to prove he was Jesus is the Son of God, he has to do what God, what they said God can do. And he did it to prove. And the Jew, they wanted to stone him because for him claiming to be this because son, the begotten Son of God, it means he was God. That's why they wanted to, to stone him because to them was blasphemy. They could see him in the flesh, he was claiming to be God. Because in the book of Daniel, you know he does we, claim. You know we, yeah. He does claim that. Before they crucified him, you know what we. we yeah, but that is a completely uh, false. It's a false statement. Because he was already prophesied, he will come, he will die, he will be crucified. And he will rise again to life. And they came to be fulfilled. That was fulfilled. Before Jesus, Isa, Yeah, but it's a lie. What does Isa mean? What does Isa mean? No, what does it mean? Does it mean? It's a Greek name. What does it mean? Yeah, but that you have to know. Jesus, the name Jesus comes from the name of Hebrew called Yeshua. And Yeshua is means salvation. The names in the Bible have a meaning. We don't know the meaning of the name of Isa. It's a made up name. It's a made up name. That's what I'm saying. The narrative of Quran, it's all corruption. It's all false claims. So go on okay, the research. Like, go on the research. Let me meet you next yes. week. Okay, and we yeah. speak. Yeah? Okay, that's fine. Like, you're very intelligent. Yes, yeah? no worries. Yeah. 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 Yeah the Bible, it has to be false. Because the Bible, the narrative of the Bible, of the history, everything that took place happened before the Quran came. And everything that the prophecies from the Old Testament, that the prophecies as they came to pass, Jesus was born as a virgin from a virgin. And he was uh, the one also who performed all the miracles. And he fulfilled all the laws. And he died as the scriptures already revealed and he rose and Jesus fulfilled also his commission to bring to be the light to the Gentile and he was able to send all the apostles. The apostles was all around the world already. Churches of the Christian was already established. People knew that Christian believed Jesus was God and uh, the gospel was going all around the world. And then we have Islam coming late try to counter what the Bible narrative is which is can only be lies because every uh, scripture revelation of the Bible already was fulfilled. So every narrative of the Quran can only be false. It's all fabrication. So we call the uh, Muslim to come to Christ and Christ is the son of God. You need him. Without him, you cannot enter into eternal life with God. God bless you. Thank you, Mikey. Cut.